Welcome to the Power of Your Voice podcast with your host, Johnny Gorky. You have the power to overcome challenges and fears. Let my voice and the voice of many others show you how to transform these challenges into opportunities. To learn more about future podcasts and read episode show notes, check out my website at www.thepowerofyourvoice.com. Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Your Voice podcast. This is Johnny. So this is going to be episode 45. Today, I will be discussing ways we can be creative, stay creative during this lockdown. As everybody knows throughout the world, a lot of people, they're stuck in their house or their lofts, their apartments, and they can't really go anywhere. Some people, they still have some restrictions. They can still go around places, but... Still, because of social distance and that kind of thing, a lot of people are still stuck in their houses. But the amazing thing is, is there's a lot of ways that we still get to be creative. Now, I have noticed lately throughout social media, a lot of people are creating really cool content. And that's something that you get to do during this lockdown. So, for example, I've seen a lot of people, they're starting to create these fitness videos, these personal trainers, what they've been starting to do is create these challenges so they'll do these different exercises and then they'll challenge other people to do the same thing. They'll post videos and then they'll tag them, that kind of thing, and repost it back on social media, which I think is really, really cool. Especially for exercise, it's a great way to get rid of stress and anxiety. For those people who live in cities where the government, they're allowing them to leave their house, but they're still required to maintain social distancing. You're still able to go on runs throughout your neighborhood, maybe ride your bike, push your child throughout the neighborhood on a stroller, or take your family for a walk through the blocks, through the neighborhood where you live. You know, And, and I think this is great because it's a great way to get some fresh air, maintain physical and mental health. In my own neighborhood, I've personally noticed a large amount of families that I haven't really seen before who are starting to take walks with their entire family, sometimes maybe just with a couple of their kids or they're walking their dog or maybe they're just taking a quick brisk walk. But the point point is this, is I've noticed people are getting out of their house and they're getting exercise where I live, which I absolutely love seeing that because I've been staying, we've been staying where we live right now for about three years and yeah, you see some people walk, but I've been seeing a lot more people, which I absolutely love to see. Now, I strongly believe right now is also a great time to create content for your business. If you run any type of business, now is the time to create content for social media platforms and your website. I've been on social media a lot lately, and as you might have noticed, there's a big surge in content. People are creating content daily, posting things all over the place. Lots of live streams and different types of activity as well. And that is Instagram, Facebook, uh, TikTok, or their website. And then podcasts as well. Now, right now, we have to remember, people are staying home. People are staying home more than ever, I think, in our history. So now is a great time to capitalize on that. So if you've been ever wanting to reach out to celebrities, big businesses, owners, entrepreneurs, authors, musicians, whomever, right now I think is the best time because they're very active on social media and your chances of being able to reach out to them and send them a direct message or leave them a comment and tag them, it's more likely that they're going to see your messages. So last night, I heard about Hasbro. You know, they're very well known for making games. They've announced that they have this big surge in purchases of the Monopoly Life operation and also their Play-Doh products. So I think while many people are at home with their children, now is a great time to spend quality time playing these board games, playing with Play-Doh, playing with cars, whatever that might look like. A lot of time, I mean, what I mean to say is this. A lot of people right now spend a lot of time with their family. They're really getting to do things that they may have not have done. Because, you know, as a parent myself, you know, you go to work, you do your job, you come home, you help your kids with your homework, you make dinner, and then spend an extra couple hours with your kids and 
playing board games is not something that people usually do. And if they do, they do it in a weekend. But now we're playing games throughout the weekday, which is really, really awesome, I think. I'm very glad to hear about this. And plus, playing these games is a great way to decrease decrease stress, anxiety. It's a great way to build memories because if you have young kids, you know, your kids, they're never going to forget these. You know, I, I think this is a great time to do that. Now, I'll be honest with you, too. You know, it kind of sucks because next week is our spring break. My w- wife and I, we were going to go to Orlando, Florida, spend time with the kids, go to Disney World for at least a day or two. And that's not something we're able to do now. And this is something we've been wanting to plan for several years now. But you know what? It is what it is. And we still get to create great memories with our kids. I don't know exactly what we're going to do for this time. We might, you know, just postpone our vacation to hopefully near towards the end of summer. But we're still going to do something. We're going to have a lot of fun. I don't know exactly what that is, but hey, you know what? It's okay. We'll figure it out. Now, I also want to discuss too, and this is something I've mentioned in my past podcast episode too, but I think it's very important to mention again. If you've been wanting to start a podcast, a blog, start these web- 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 webinars where you post, you know, you interview with different people and you post these series online. I think now's a great time to be creative and reach out to guest speakers to interview. So if there's, you know, people if you've been really wanting to reach out to, maybe they're a big influencer or somebody that you greatly respect, but you know, you've been thinking, eh, you know, what if I reach out to this person? They're probably so busy. They got so much stuff going on. They're probably doing all these speaking engagements. They don't have time to probably even email me back or direct message me back on Instagram or Facebook or something, now is the time to reach out to them because they probably have time. So reach out to these people. Now is the time. So if you want to do these interviews, you know, some of the really good programs to use, a lot of people like Skype or Zoom, and then they also have Cisco Web WebEx. That's also another really good, good program to use. Now today is kind of interesting. I went on social media. Well, I should say Instagram. I was on different platforms, but... One of the sites I really like to use is Instagram, and I follow a lot of people. I was watching a live stream that Justin Bieber was doing. So he's out there at his house. I don't know where it is, probably somewhere out in maybe Malibu, California. But he's in his house. He's sitting in front of his piano playing music, and he's singing. Really did an amazing job, but what he was doing is he was getting on live calls with different fans of his and one of them happened to be a young mother and she was telling Justin she's like hey Justin my son he, her son he's probably maybe about 15 16 months old a, a young little boy a toddler and she's like my son he loved that song that you sing called yummy yummy could you sing that for him and Justin he was singing and playing live on a piano I'm like this is really cool. I Some of you might be Justin Bieber fans. Some of you may not be. But you know what? It doesn't matter because the whole point is this. Is there's a lot of really great, talented musicians now who are playing live music on social media for their fans. It's all free of charge. And you get to interact with them in ways that you may have never been able to do that. Because, you know, the, the reality is this. A lot of these musicians who are in high demand, they're on these tours and they're traveling around the world. And a lot of them don't always get in these live streams on social media. So I think this is a really amazing opportunity to reach out to these people if that might be something you're interested in. Another guy who I kind of like, who's a comedian, uh, Kevin Hart. Now, you know, he's staying indoors as well out in I believe California as well. And he just started this new daily video series called Confessions from the Heart. He talks about different scenarios, things that he's gone through throughout his life. Maybe he went on tour and something really funny happened to one of the comedians he's working with or somebody in his his crew. You know, he, he's talking about these really cool stories and they're hilarious. But my whole point is this is Maybe there's some content you've been really wanting to put out there, but you haven't really thought about, hey, you know what? I don't know really know when would be a good time. When would people when will people be able to listen to this kind of stuff? I think now is a perfect time to do that. Also, another lady who I I, uh, I follow, her name is Ellen DeGeneres. I'm sure you guys are familiar with her. 
what she's been starting to do now is every day she records herself calling people. You know, she's super famous. She has her own comedy show on TV. And she interviews all kinds of really cool people. But what she's been doing is she's calling her friends, people on her phone. And she's just having conversations. Hey, you know, what are you and your family doing during this time where you guys are staying at your house? And she's recording them and she's putting it on social media. So these are just great ways that you can create content. Hey, if you're famous and you're listening to this, reach out to people. Record your messages. Just create content. I have also noticed too, like some DJs, some of these musicians who are spinning, you know, vinyl or maybe they use turntables in their house. Uh, I should say... Um, the digital turntables what they're doing is is they're tuning turning their bedroom or their office or whatever to like a live dj's studio and they're recording streaming live music as they're spinning it or, or how, however they they mix and blend music together but they're creating great music for people to listen to live which i think is really, really cool and that's not something really not used to seeing that so i think that's really cool i also was watching a video by uh gary Vaynerchuk, who I absolutely love. I think he's an amazing entrepreneur. He really gives a lot of amazing advice for young business-minded entrepreneurs too. And one of the things is he was talking to this young kid. Yeah, probably this young guy. He's in his 20s. But this kid was saying that he sells really cool sneakers. Some of his sneakers he sells are like probably like five to $800. But he's like, you know, I, I need customers. What can I do? And what Gary was telling him, he's like, hey, man, right now what you need to do is direct message every single sports superstar on Instagram right now because you would never find another opportunity where every single basketball player, football player, hockey player, baseball player, they're all at their house right now. They're checking social media. So... Some of them might not reply back to you, but hey, man, if you send, I, I don't really know exactly what the number is, but let's say you're allowed to send 100 direct messages a day. Send 100 messages every single day. It's just numbers. Before you know it, one of these guys is going to reply back to you and they may want to buy a pair of shoes that you have that you know they can't find in any other store. Or reach out to them and say, hey, man, you know what? I want to send you a pair of shoes and then they're going to tell all their friends about how amazing you are and how you send them these great pair of sneakers but this isn't just about shoes this is about any other product that you might have out there this is a great time to put out there in the public and let people know about whatever it is that you do so i invite you i invite you and i challenge you if you are a musician start creating live streams right now of you playing during this time if you're a fitness guru make videos of easy exercises that are very functional and that can be done at home with minimum equipment. I've seen some people doing exercises using a chair, using a t uh, the, their kitchen sink, using uh, maybe two bottles of water or two gallons of, of milk or water or however that might look like. But there's a lot of exercise that people are able to do at their house without having to go to gym to stay in shape, get rid of stress, anxiety, and all that kind of stuff. Create content around that, you know, put that stuff out there. And before you know it, you know what, after this whole virus goes away and things get back to the normal, some of these people, they're going to remember you like, hey, man, you were great. I love the content you put out there. I want to work with you. So, you know, this is a great way to network, meet people, share with the world what you do. If you're a painter, if you're an artist, do live streams of you making really cool paintings or whatever type of content you put out there. And a lot of people love watching people make art. You know, I think it's really, really cool. People are intrigued by that kind of stuff. So, hey, if you're a painter, if you do any kind of art, man, go out there, make art, record it. People want to see that. And, hey, you never know. Somebody might watch one of the videos as you're making a painting. They're like, I love that piece of art. And as they see you make it and they see the details and, and the work that goes into that piece of art, they might reach out to you, hey man, I want to buy that painting, whatever it is that you charge, a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand dollars, whatever it is, people are watching. So people, if you love what you do, put that content out there, record yourself doing live webinars, podcast interviews. If you're, if you're sitting on your bed playing a 
the guitar or sit in front of the piano like as I say Justin Bieber was. Do that, man. Record it. Put put it on social media. Put it on the platforms. Let people know what you do. You know, put yourself out there. Whatever it is that you do and you do it well, share it with the world because right now the world is watching. The world is watching. Thanks for listening to the Poppy Voice Podcast, guys. I love you very, very much. Thanks again, and I really appreciate you. Have a fantastic week, and enjoy your weekend, and take care of yourself. Be safe out there, guys. Johnny here. Thank you for listening to the Power Your Voice podcast. I would absolutely love to get your feedback on this episode and how it impacted you. Reach out to me on Instagram by sending a direct message to username Voice Podcast. If someone in your life could benefit from this episode, share it with them and check out thepowerofyourvoice.com to read blogs on each podcast episode and learn more about what was discussed. And please leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts. This lets me know you find this show valuable. And thank you for listening.